Hey everybody, today we're picking back up in Genesis chapter 41 and we're looking at Joseph's counsel. Joseph's counsel in Genesis chapter 41 verses 33 through 47. Now we see here that Joseph is giving his counsel after God has used him to interpret Pharaoh's dream. So Genesis chapter 41 verses 33 through 37. And this is now Joseph giving his counsel. Now therefore let Pharaoh select a discerning and wise man and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh proceed to appoint overseers over the land and take one-fifth of the produce of the land of Egypt during the seven plentiful years. And let them gather all the food of these good years that are coming and store up grain under the authority of Pharaoh for food in the cities and let them keep it that the food shall be a reserve for the land against the seven years of famine that are to occur in the land of Egypt, so that the famine of the land may not cause all to perish. This proposal pleased Pharaoh and all his servants. So we see here Joseph giving his wisdom. God has used him, and, and Joseph has very humbly gone and said, it's not me really that can interpret your dream, it's God. And he was very humble about that before the most powerful man in the face of the planet, Pharaoh at that time. And Joseph interprets the dream. God gives him the interpretation that there are going to be seven plenteous years of super abundance of the crops and, and the, the livestock. And then there's going to be seven horrendous years of famine and starvation spreading throughout the land of Egypt. And so God then gives Joseph wise counsel, wisdom to instruct Pharaoh in what to do. Okay, here's the interpretation. Now, what should you do? You know, practically, how do you respond to this? In verse 32, um, remember what Joseph said. He said that this is fixed by God, this interpretation of the dream. And God will bring it about shortly. Since it's going to happen soon, you, you Pharaoh, need to select a wise man, a discerning man. Who will and, and set him up, give him authority over the land of Egypt to be preparing the land for this. And he gives very specific instructions. Pharaoh also is, to, verse 34, supposed to appoint overseers, appoint leaders that um, will be working and watching over the land and gathering a very hefty tax. They are to take one-fifth, 20% of the produce of the land during the seven super abundant years. When all this plenty is being produced, Joseph's counsel is you're supposed to take one-fifth of it, okay, 20% of everything, and you're supposed to store it up, storing up the grain under the authority of Pharaoh. You're going to have armed guards, you're going to have special places, storing this food in the cities where it's safe in those days, giant silos, and let them keep it. They're literally supposed to guard this food. It's going to be needed during the seven years of scarcity. That food, verse 36, shall be a reserve for the land against the seven years of famine. There would be some things produced during the famine, but there would not be much, and the famine would get worse and worse and worse every year that went on. And so the seven years of famine would occur in the land of Egypt, and then the land that the land would not perish from the famine. So the proposal pleased Pharaoh and all of his servants. And tomorrow we're going to see Pharaoh pick back up, and we're going to see Pharaoh uh, do some things. But today, Father, we thank you for the wisdom of Joseph, and we pray and we ask, Father, that you would give us wisdom as well for the situations we face in life. Help us to respond humbly. Help us to respond boldly. In Jesus' name, amen.